have some pictures appear up on the screen. One day, Jesus was teaching a big crowd of people, and he said, Don't worry about the things you need to live. What you will eat, drink, or wear. Life is more important than food, and the body is more important than what you put on it. Look at the birds. They don't plant, harvest, or save food in barns. But your heavenly Father feeds them. Don't you know that you are worth so much more than they are? You can't add any time to your life by worrying about it. And why do you worry about clothes? Look at the wildflowers in the fields. See how they grow? They don't work or make clothes for themselves. But I tell you that even Solomon, the great and rich king, was not dressed as beautifully as one of these flowers. If God makes what grows in the field so beautiful, what do you think he will do for you? It's just grass. One day it's alive, the next day someone throws it in a fire. But God cares enough to make it beautiful. Surely he will do much more for you. Don't worry and say what will we eat, or what will we drink, or what will we wear. That's what those people who don't know God are always thinking about. Don't worry, because your Father in Heaven knows that you need all these things. What you should want most is God's kingdom and doing what He wants you to do. Then He will give you all these other things you will need. So don't worry about tomorrow. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Tomorrow will have its own worries. Hello there, I'll be with you just a minute. Just got to change the prices. What's happened to, oh there's my sign. I thought my sign had broken for a moment. I just need to put the prices up on the stock, sorry. Sorry about that. Welcome to the Bethlehem General Store. My name is Shiloh the shopkeeper. The year is 40 AD and we have got everything that you need. Do you need uh, some hair dye? We've got it. The finest product here made from vinegar and leeches. It's all at bargain prices. Would you, do you feel a bit peckish? I've got something for that too. Uh, we can cook you a jellyfish omelette. We've also got uh, the uh, newest uh, issue of everyone's favorite Roman newspaper. It's called the uh, Acta Diurna. And um, actually, truth be told, it's not actually made of paper. That's why I'm putting these gloves on. I'll just get it round the back. You see, in the Roman Empire here, we, we tend to do it on a bit of stone. We haven't got this one printed yet, but it's sort of just here. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's all, all very uh, good, good prices. Um, do, you need, do you need help with anything? Or are you just browsing? You don't look like you're from around here. So let me, let me let you in on a little secret. See, the rumour has it 
that the Roman Empire are trying to pay for a war that they can't really afford. And the prices uh, are, g are going up everywhere. And people, people are worried at the moment. Well, I mean, I say, I used to worry a lot, but not so much now. For me, I, I used to worry about how, how this shop would, would look after me uh, and my family. Sometimes I'd worry just a little bit. Sometimes I would worry a lot, and it would just take over. But it's all changed now. I wonder what you worry about. See, it's all because of this man, Jesus. Uh, he taught us, and he taught me, and now I, I say to myself, don't worry, seek Jesus. Don't worry, seek Jesus. You see, it was a number of years ago, and there was this man, Jesus, and he was giving this speech, and he was by the Lake of Galilee, and he was, he was talking at the beginning. It was just his followers listening. By the end, there were crowds of us who were listening to him. And when I was joining the crowd, I heard him say, don't worry. Don't worry about the food that you need to live and the clothes that you need for your body. And before I could say, or any of us could say, why shouldn't we worry about food? He said, look at the birds. And look at the birds. And there they were. They were on the fields. Now, have you ever watched the birds in your garden? Have you ever seen them worry uh, about what they're going to eat next? Have you ever seen them go out to Tesco's so they can stock up and hoard tins of soup? Truth be told, as I was looking at them, they just, they just got on with it. It was, it was like they were relying on God. Then Jesus said, look at the flowers. Look at the flowers. And there they were, uh, out on the fields. They looked so beautiful. There they were, golden. And it was like they were dancing in the wind. In fact, we can see some of the flowers around us there. You know, do you... Do the flowers worry about what they're going to wear? No, God loves to dress them beautifully. And as we were looking at these things, we saw that God cared for them and gives them what they need, the birds and the flowers. And then it hit us that God gives us what we need and that he is a caring Heavenly Father who will look after us. And I don't have to worry about whether I'll have enough business tomorrow. Just like those, those flowers. Now I just wear these scruffy things to work. One day I can look forward to kingly robes uh, with Jesus. That's because God cares for us. Do you believe that? Jesus says, uh, if we don't believe that, uh, if we are worrying, it might be because we're not trusting him to look after us for tomorrow. Now, as we were listening to Jesus, we could tell that he was telling the truth. There was something different about him. You see, Jesus called himself Lord. It's our, it's our word here for ruler and king. And Jesus was calling himself Lord, but he was very different from some of those other kings that we have around here. You see, Jesus said, don't worry. All our other kings like to say, do worry. Do worry, obey us, or the other baddies are going to come into this country and they're going to kill you and the bar barbarians are going to run it and you'll have a different, even worse king. They said, do worry. And that was when we realised that Jesus was different. You see, our, our King Herod here, he, he's quite like one of those bad ones. He likes to, he likes to scare us. I think it, it's because it keeps us under control. And uh, it keeps us, keeps us quiet and worrying and under control. Jesus, he's so different. He said, don't worry. And then we realised that he was a different kind of king. And I trust him. I trust him. And because of that, life feels very different now that I've met Jesus. Of course, life isn't trouble-free. We, we there are lots of things that, 
uh, go wrong in our lives of wars and famines and, and disease. Maybe life is, is tough for you now. But now it's like I imagine all the things that I worry about. And it's like, it's like I'm putting them into this bag and I'm giving them to God. And God's shoulders, he, he can take it. He is the caring father who looks after me. It's not wrong for us to work hard and to look after ourselves and uh, run our businesses. But I realised it was the worrying that was the issue. And sometimes I do still worry. I do still worry. What if I wake up and I'm suddenly ill tomorrow? But I know that there's someone who can, uh, I can turn to because he cares for me. People sometimes ask me, Shiloh, what do you do instead of worrying? Do you just try really, really hard not to think about it and just hope it goes away? Well, there's one more thing that Jesus told us as we were listening to him. And I've got this simple thing. It just helps me remember it. Um, I've got it back round the back here. Now, can anyone help me? What letter or number is this? Okay, it's not an I. It's a one. It's a one. Because we do Roman ones here. Uh, this is a Roman one. And uh, it helps me. Uh, to remember something really, really important. See, Jesus told us, uh, he looked us in the eye as he was speaking and said, seek first God's kingdom. He said that to us, seek first God's kingdom. It meant to us about uh, making God our number one in our lives, of, of him being our priority in our lives. And it's about the fact that he is the one that we can do, turn to and he will look after what we need as we seek him first. Seek him first and he will look after what you need. He's the only one that can only proper, properly look after us. Uh, no one else can do that. No one else is our heavenly father. And I've gradually learnt to make God number one in my life. You know, it's funny, uh, if, I, if I worry about things, I can't actually make it any better just by worrying, but God can. You see, everyone here in Bethlehem has got their priorities. I wonder what your priorities are. Uh, one, of our, one of the boys in our shop, uh, his priority is hanging around with his mates, which means his homework is always late. Uh, because he always leaves it to the last minute. That, that's his priority. Um, some people uh, in, in Bethlehem, their priority is that they like to be popular. So sometimes, in an attempt to be popular with other people in the town, they end up being mean to other people, because they know that that will bring them uh, in the in crowd and be popular with their, with their friends there. Uh, there was one person who who heard Jesus as well on that day. And he, he was thinking about it. We thought about this together. And he actually left his job because he realised that he was stopping him from looking after and caring for other followers of Jesus. And so he left his job and he found another one. And it was, it was quite scary and it was a big change. But eventually God did look after him uh, and found him another job so he could provide what he needed. When I started following Jesus, people said to me, uh, you need to keep it, you need to keep quiet. You don't want to talk about Jesus because you will get in trouble with the big religious authorities, the Pharisees and the, and the Sadducees. And initially I did do that. But then I realised, am I just worrying about uh, fear of people? And I realised uh, that was something I needed to deal with and to seek first God's kingdom. So I started inviting friends to hear about Jesus. It was a bit scary. It was quite slow. But I know that God will look after me. He's my father. That's what God showed us. God cares for us so much. And he looks after us. Shiloh, seek, don't worry. Seek first God. Seek, seek Jesus. Don't worry. Seek Jesus.
I'm so sorry, I've got to be at the market in about V minutes. <laughs> um, if there's anything you want in the shop, just, just ring the bell and someone will come back to you. And uh, have a great day. <laughs>